السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته عيسى صاحب السلام عليكم الناس حبيبي الله يسلمك كيف حالك؟ جيد الحمد لله So we're going to start um, our lesson uh, we're just about to reach 30 past so yes I have I have multiple clocks in front of me and one of them is saying 31 past 6 so I think <laughs> We'll wait for one more minute and then we'll okay. start the prayers. Yes. I thought it was at 11 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Are you logging 11 this morning? Yes. No, the I was time was, uh, yes, in the middle of this week. So we got it. Um, we changed it to 6 30. Yes, revised with this one. Yes. So I can I can see Tommy Kalunsab is also there. Uh, he's joined. So I would request Tommy Sab to start this class with the with the prayers with the silent prayers. Please, if he can lead us in the prayers. Tommy Sab. Hello, Sab. Yes, Salaam alaikum. Please join me in silent prayer. I'm silent. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello, mommy. Mommy. So, so I would like to thank you everyone. Thanks everyone to join again. Uh, for those who have uh, joined this class in the on the first time, um, and for those who are here for the second time, yes, for like for everyone, I was um, planning to go back to the first lesson and start from the stretch um so this one uh, so this book uh i'm not sure if everyone has this link so i'd like everyone to have this open if you can if you're on a computer yes i would request everyone to have this open and uh, let me see how do i send it across uh, somebody shares in chat yes so i'm putting this in the chat please everyone uh you can you can use a mobile phone as well because it's a pdf file so you can you can open on your for your blog. but then i will be also sharing my screen so i'm going to share my screen now so if you don't have it it's not a problem you can still you would still be able to see it on my screen yes on the share okay. screen um okay so yes yeah, so can can someone confirm if they're able to see my screen please yes yes so we started uh, last week with uh, with the alphabets of uh, urdu and we call them huruf tahaji so huruf tahaji is written like this this is the urdu text that's how we write it huruf tahaji and that's how we say it huruf huruf tahaji right this tiny little um vowel at the bottom is called zair and it sounds like a, so it's hurufe tahaji. And what it means literally in English is letters of alphabets, right? So, starting from, so just for everyone who hasn't been on my class last time, it's the first time they're there. So, this is 
all the alphabets of Urdu. So we have 39 alphabets in Urdu. They're all here. Um, but in some in some places it's also 40. Yeah, so these these are 39. This is 39. Um, starting with Alif, Bay. Okay, so I know I know there is gonna be okay. So let me start from here. Actually, yeah, this is why I wrote this. So starting with Alif. Yes, that's how it sounds. Alif. Then we have Bay. And it sounds bay. So repeat as well. When I say something, you repeat as well because that's why you have it on your screen. So you can repeat it for yourself. I'm repeating twice so everyone can repeat for themselves. Yes. Uh, so this one is bay. Okay. With the three dots at the bottom, it's bay. And then this is day, two dots on the top, day. The next one, it sounds similar, but it's a bit harder. So that's day. So day and day, they sound pretty similar, but then one is slightly more stronger than the, the first one. The second one is, is more stronger. So the first one is day, the second is day. Are there the uh, same dots? Yes. On the... Sorry, Isa Saab, you were saying something? Are there the same number? The, 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 the second one is not uh, two dots, is it? This, the, so this, yes, yeah, so this one is not a dot, yes. So you see, this is the same shape, but then it has it has a, something called toy on the top, right? Mm -hmm. This yeah. itself is another, it's another um alphabet, alphabet of its own so i'll show you in a second so you so you will be seeing this now on your screen so you have this uh the whole of alphabets yes right here you see toy this shape yes you remember this shape this is the same shape you just highlighted that this shape is called toy yes and if you look toy. at that letter it's also toy but it's sitting on top of um that um that shape which is also similar to bay so if you see this is the same category this this from head to head is the same group of shapes but the only difference you find is like dots and this toy and then dot again so the first one has one dot at the bottom, then three dots at the bottom, and two dots on the top, then this toy on the top, and then three dots on the top. You also see every time dots they appear on the top of a letter, they are written like pyramid. So it's always like a pyramid shape, but whether it's like upside or down, downwards, like the up, upright or downwards, so it's just like that. So they either stack on top or they're completely opposite so in chair as well because it's underneath it's a, within it's within the shape that's why it's written like as if they're below like they're underneath yes but everywhere they're on top there's like two at the bottom it's like a pyramid shape upright anyway so we go back to these dots yes so bay bay Te, 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 and te. Yes. So I'll go back to these uh, where I where I have it in writing, so you know what I'm saying actually. Because I was I was listening to this recording and I realized that it's not my my the way I'm pronouncing. It's they all sound the same on your end, so it's not making any difference to your to your hearing. So this is a good idea to have it written like this. So Aleph, I think everyone is now clear with Aleph. It's very unique. Um, but then we have the similar line of alphabets. They are Bay, 
T T yeah T T and then we have T as in Tay. the hard one T then we have say now this this there is a there is a s sound which is sharp s and then there is a hissing sound which is the right so this is more like the it's not like right it's not very strong so you say say right i i'm laughing i'm sorry i'm laughing because i heard myself saying this last time and it wasn't making any sound to you guys so you can you can consider this saying like as in um without saying it without a sharp s right instead of a soft s um yes yeah, so so i can that's all i can say at the moment it's say right then we have a new group which i am going to start today for this lesson is jim che he and he he so these four, these this is one group, right? Um, they are also found in Arabic apart from this che, like I said in the last lesson. There are there are letters which are not found in Arabic language. So those are only found in Urdu. Um I'll actually complete this part and then I'll go back to it because I wanted to cover that again. Yes. So for now, I'll continue with this and I'll just say them out loud so you can also say after me. Yes. So the next shape after the is Jim. Yes. Jim. Jim. Yes. Jim. Jim. Um, sorry, just a second. I think I need to mute everyone. Sorry. Um, Issa Sab, I think I won't, I'm not able to mute yourself. So if you kindly mute yourself as well. And anybody else who is not on mute, please, can you put yourself on mute? Tazakala. So then we have Jim. Yes. That's Jim. So very straightforward, Jim. Then we have Che. Now, there is not much difference in terms of the shape of the letter, but then the dots. So it has Jim has one dot and Che has three dots. And the dots, again, I said, they're the reciprocal of the of the actual pyramid. So it's not stacked on top. Instead, it's looks like it's like an upside down suspended pyramid so this is che and we call it che right very similar to chai actually which is also uh, this this letter this this the, the word chai is also starts with this letter so this is very famous letter i guess <laughs> in Urdu language in terms of that. So if I if I were to if I was to write chai, I would just say I would just put chai in here and it would be in Urdu it would be like that. Chai. Yeah. So I'm sure whoever's been to Jalsa Salana they have they have seen this written somewhere chai because you have chai stalls. Yes. So that's how we write chai and this letter is also um, this alphabet, um, it starts with chai, it starts with alphabet J. Yeah, so that's the base of it, chai, J. So we say J like that, J. Right, and then we go to he. Now this he is more like ha, right? It's more like from the throat, from very close to your esophagus. So it comes out from the back of the throat and you say ha right it's very close to the letter ha it's a ha and ha they are kind of uh, well technically they they all four they are same family yes jim che he, he. but then 
the sound of this this one so the sound for this ha is um he is like ha it's very close to ha but then you say it with the with the back of your throat right but then we call this letter it's called he yes And then the letter P. Now, P is more like um, um. I don't know how many of you have heard of the letter uh, of the of the word um, atun. Yes. Um. If this is a big word, I can actually change it. Um, khana. Yeah, that's a small word. Khana. Khana is like that. So we get khana, which means, um, khana means um, a drawer. Yes, or sometimes it can also mean it depends <laughs> of the context, but sometimes it's also referred to um, corner, but not always. Mostly, most widely, it's used for drawer. Yes, Anna. but it's also something cubicle. It's also, yes, something like a cubicle. So it's also referred to that sometimes, yes. And in that, in that context, we say Khana Kaaba, um, the, the Makkah, uh, you know, where we go for pilgrimage, uh, the Muslims, they go for pilgrimage. So yes, for the Hajj, it's called Khana Kaaba. And that Khana is also, it's like referred to the, sh to the shape of it. Right, so Khana, drawer, and then we'll go back to the letter Khay. Uh, sorry, Harun, there is, uh, sorry, there is a, there's a question from and, and Talha. I think it's, con it's, con it's just confused between Kana and Khana. I think he just asked about that. Oh, Khana, okay, yeah. Khana, okay, is, then... Khana is food, uh, Khal Khana is something that's cubicle, as he says. Well, yeah, I'll let you explain that. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so Khana, oh, I know what you mean, Khana. Oh, that's true, actually. Okay, Khana. Hmm, that's true. Okay, okay, so that's Okay, so the reason for that is my inability to write <laughs> the right with the correct old Roman English, but I can definitely write down the Urdu for you. So the Kana. Yeah, I thought Kana is, is Kana without the H, without the Kha. It's Kana and Khana. So it's two separate words, yes. isn't it? So Kana. You put without H. The first one has no H in it. Yeah, you just say K A N A. Yeah. So I would say this is Khana. This Khana would be, if I write in English, that would be like, yeah. How about that now? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I would I would write the first one with the, without the H. So K A N A for Khana. Then no, that but then Khana. yeah, that's the difference. So this Khana, yeah. you have to say a tiny H. So you have to say the like tiny H because oh. this shape, this shape right here is is ha. Is okay. Okay. In that case, yes. I think it's, it's so Kana. this shape is like there is a there is a h in here. So you see, this is h. This represent h, right? So yes, for I that, know, so in that case, have... okay. sorry, I'm sorry to, to interrupt you. I'm just trying to get a difference myself, but I never mm -hmm. knew there's a h in it. I don't. I just always said the kana for food. Kana. Yes. But I think it's then it's, say... it's kana. Yes. So if you say if you say kana, like you said, if you say it without h, that would be kana. Right, that's what you were saying probably, but then if you write in it Urdu, Kana, yes, and that means for this refers to someone who is who has lost one eye or he has only one eye. So it, this refers to a person who's partially blinded. He's like one eye with a person with one eye. That makes sense. So Kana and Kana, like the job. Yes, so Kana and Kana, yes. Kahana, no, no, it's not Kahana. Someone wrote uh, Jabril and Zaydan. Uh, they're both, I think, the, the two people that they wrote. 
Kahana and Kana. Okay. Yes. Is, is Kana means eating food. A kana means a blind person. Or Kana means home or a draw, yes. as you said. Yes, home. Home. Yes. It's sometimes, but it's widely used. Um, Khana is more known for a drawer in Urdu speaking. So when I say, if you look in my Khana, Mere khane mein dekh lo, is se to, it's more uh, widely widely used for, for drawer. And Khana, like you said, blind, but with one eye. It's like, um, because because if it's, it's, it's one eye, uh, so then the other word for blind is, if it's blind with both eyes, will be andha. And that'll be like that. So that's a completely different word. Oh, andha. Yes. Or andhi for woman. Yes. It's a like, okay, so that's, that's also very important that every, every noun has masculine and feminine words for it. So like kana for ma man and kani for woman. Yes. Uh, like a female. Okay, so I think we got too far dragged away with this. <laughs> but I think I've made it clear. Kana, um, kana and kana, right? So it's kana and kana. They're two different words, but in Roman English, um, I think if someone has a better way of writing it, please let me know. I can share with everyone so we can learn. I mean, I'm learning every day. So I'm happy to see if someone has a better way of writing Khana and Khana. Yes, do share it in the chat before the end of lesson so we can learn something. Yes. So now this time I'm going to go without stopping. Yes. So I'll go from Alif to Khay all in one go. And then I would like everyone to repeat. So I'll say two times, you repeat two times, and then we'll go ahead to the next thing. Kahna. Kahna. Uh, Suleiman Hashim. Suleiman Hashim is saying Kahna. Kahna. What is Kahna? Sure. So, sorry, there was no, it's not a question. Is it a question? Is it a suggestion? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, you're saying is how you write it. No, it won't be. It's, I, I'm reading it Kahna. Uh, Suleiman, so I don't think that's the right way. Okay, so we go back. Uh, Alif. Yes, I'll say two times. Alif. Then we have Be. Be. Then we have Pe. Pe. Te. Te, 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 Jim, Jim, Che, Che, He, He. Hey, hey. Allah, everyone. So I'm still getting suggestions for Kana and Kana. I think we'll have to work it out <laughs> uh, in the future lessons, inshallah. Food and drawer. Kana. No, this Q, the hard Q, this one, I don't know if everyone can see, suggested by Muzaffar Sab. With the Q, if I write that with Q, that would make it a cough. Uh, so we write cough, I can represent that with cough. So then, then it'll be, it'll be, it won't be a correct again. Right, so next thing in my in my mind is is the is the the word I gave everyone. So I'm not sure how many of you were there in my lesson from last week. So I gave everyone a word, and that is ilm. The word was ilm. Yes. So if I go to share my screen, yes. So can someone please confirm that they can see my screen, please? 
Yes, we can see it. Yes, so I'm searching for the website Rechta. Can you see? Is it there on your screen? Yes. Yes. Jazakallah, Jazakallah. I didn't see the name of brother, but Jazakallah, whoever it was. So the, the letter was Il. Yes, you could have searched like that, but I gave you the text of Urdu text. So, so I would search like that, and then it bring up the same word. Yes. Right. So the word ilm, right, uh, this word ilm is, it means knowledge, wisdom, understanding, yes, those sort of lines. So along those lines, so this is a very, very useful word. And I'm going to make a sentence of it, right? And I would like you to learn a new word from that sentence. Yes. So in my last lesson, I did, I did tell um, Choti and Buddy. Uh, I don't know how many of you remember. So the word Choti or Chota. And this is one Choti is um they both mean small oops um or tiny yes uh, sorry Hawun, so can you switch to your board documents we see also in the website i'm sorry yes thank you very no much no Jazakallah. so yes so the last week i did this word choti and chota i don't know how many were there I'm just doing it again because I'm going to make use of this word along with the word I gave you in assignment, ilm. So that was um, knowledge, uh, DGE, yeah, knowledge or, yeah, we can say understanding, yeah. Sorry. Elm, yes. So the oh, I did choti and I also did birdie. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, that's um, birdie and birda. Yes, and that means um, big, large. Or massive, yes. So I'm going to use, sorry, I'm going to use the word buddy and L, and we're going to make a sentence of this, yes. So the sentence I'm giving you is L, buddy, toilet, hair, yes. And in, in English, it will be knowledge is, um, is it massive, huge, huge? Huge, big treasure. Big treasure, yes. Hmm. Is a big, is a big treasure or is? Yeah, is a big treasure. Right, so ilm is knowledge. T-R-E-S-U-R-E, yeah. Thank you, thank you. So, ilm is uh, knowledge, yes. Oh, come on. Buddy is big. Dollar is 
treasure. So it can be treasure, you can say treasure, or you can say um it's um money. Uh, not material, like it's not material money, it's not monetary, uh, obviously. So we can't say money, but then it's um wealth. I think, yeah, wealth, wealth is another good guess word, wealth. Uh, but treasure is more suitable for this sentence because it's priceless, right? What about so power? That, pardon? Power. Power. Power is taqat. Knowledge is power. I thought that is a, another way for it. Uh, and do you mean do you mean power? Yes. Yes. O w e r. No, power is. It won't be the word. No. Power oh. won't be suitable here because dollar is not power. Dollar, uh, well, it's not power. And in in this context, it's on. I think treasure is a very wealth is also a suitable word. So I can also put. Yes, I can. I can do this, but. Uh, so you can use whatever you like between these two. Yes. So if you please can take a screenshot of this because I have color coded the meanings as well. So you see the color for Elm is red. Knowledge is its translated, its literal translation of that word. So Elm, hair, okay, hair is, is not a, a big. Okay, so A has to go colorless because a doesn't mean anything right now. It's just the way of saying in English. In Urdu, it is okay without it is okay without anything. I mean I can because because in Urdu, if I if I write the the, the related word for A, then it would be ek. Ilm ek badi hai. But that's not how I'm saying it. I'm just saying ilm badi dolat hai, right? So you can keep a, a, a in here, right? But it has no related word in the in the in the top, if that makes sense. So please everyone tell me. Everyone's with me in this, yes? Locked in but cannot unmute because I'm at work. Yeah, yeah, we are. I mean, it may be, it may be helpful if we repeat the phrase a few times so we can, we can learn how to pronounce it. I mean, some got, got the gist of it, but it may be worth just repeating the phrase. Yes, so I'll just say, just give me one second. Uh, Tommy Sub, I've got um, Robbie Sub saying something to me. I, I was just going to say, maybe it, it might be worth if you put um, phonetic, as in like the... The Roman, yeah. If, if you type that, it, it's it, it's it's oh, ILM. oh, oh, that's. I think that's what Tommy Sab was saying. Yeah, okay. it's so, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Just yeah. No, no, no. I'll just do it now. Sorry, I just keep. Yeah. Right. So that would be ilm. I think R H I bird birdie maybe bird so it's birdie so D R I birdie hmm. yes badri so it's not badri it's like birdie birdie Bird. yes Bird. so it's not R there is a okay there is a tiny D in the it's hiding but you don't say D you don't you don't say the word D you say birdie birdie okay. just birdie so you connect B and D together and it goes buddy. Buddy, buddy. So B. So the base word are B and D, right? And buddy. Yes, because we haven't covered buddy. So I won't expect you to know this, but because I have also given you the dictionary, you can you can you can hear this, uh, you can listen to this word in audio. Yes. So that that's that's your kind of assignment to search these words, listen to them and learn these words, right? Ilm badi dolat hai. Yes, so that would be dolat hai. 
Yes, ilm pari dolat hai. And that goes like that. Pari. Oops. Oh, my God. Pari. So, like that. If it makes sense now. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, what Jazak Narav does very, very helpful. Uh, yes. I, I do have a question when you when you when we can. I want just want to go back to Barry and Bara and, and Jyoti and Chota. Because I wasn't there last week. I just want to get some yes. question up, if you can. Yes. So you want me to go back? Yes. Okay, yeah, I can surely go yeah, back. Just my, my question is what, what is actually different between Chyoti and Jota and Barry and Bara? Is is it is this a feminine masculine thing? Yes, that yeah. is a feminine masculine thing, yes. Ah, okay, so sure. every time you have a cho so you every time you have a um ye, and choti, buri, or uh, or anything like um, so mostly it comes with the uh, with the words where it's referring to a person like a um I can't say pronoun but then um uh, it's very referring to someone so it's an, ob an object an object oh, um it like can child. be object it can be human being like yes, a living exactly. non -living hence, thing. Hence, it could be object, living non living thing like dalat dalat yeah. hoti hai. Yeah, Dolat I think grammatically, is feminine. Yes, yeah, so grammatically. Dolat is is not masculine, right? Yeah. Wealth is treasure is not masculine. It's wo hoti hai. Yeah, dolat ilm badi dolat hai. Ilm bada dolat hai is wrong. Ilm bada dolat nahi hai. Ilm badi dolat hai because ilm is uh, and also ilm and dolat they both masculine feminine words. Dolat bhi hoti hai, ilm bhi hoti. Ilm hota hai. Ilm. Oh my god. But why is Badi Dalat? Because it's referring to the Dalat. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm learning. You see, I'm learning. <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> Chochi, okay, don't, 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 don't judge me on this, okay? <laughs> You're not allowed to. <laughs> okay. So let me tell you. Ilm hota hai. Ilm. Ilm hota hai. Ilm hota hai. It means... Oh my god, that's gonna confuse everyone, no? No. Ilm. Yeah. Ilm, ilm. So when we say ilm, uh, we would say bada. You know, ilm hota just means there is ilm. There is ilm, yes. Yeah. So I think it's fine if you explain it like that. Explain like that, yeah, yes. Fine. Yes, you see, I have I have full support of Murabi Saab here, alhamdulillah. <laughs> so ilm hota hai. Ilm. Acha, ilm. Ilm hota hai. Ilm hota hai, yes. And dolat hoti hai. And uh, when I say in English, ilm hota hai means there is uh, th th there is knowledge, and you can explain that this is just to. It's like a. I don't know, it's, like, it's like a check. It's like a reference point that you have to make sure if a word is feminine or masculine, and if it for us for Urdu speakers, it's like for us to make sense of it. If it doesn't sound right, it's not right. I don't know how you can explain that. Yes, that's, that's how I that's how I explain. So ilm hota hai, there is ilm. The the word ilm hota hai, the the sentence ilm hota hai means there is ilm, right? I was only telling you this because to make it more like uh, more sensible for you, everyone. Yes, and and wealth, dolat uh, hoti hai, there is wealth. So the English translation of ilm hota hai and dalat hoti hai is there is ilm, there is knowledge, obviously, not ilm, sorry. There is knowledge and there is wealth. You might want to swap these two around. So yes, yes. Because I'm typing Urdu and mm. English, so it's just <laughs> making it get on my keyboard is just trying to yes so it's just like that so if, if it's for your understanding these two are together so there is wealth if I say in English there is wealth and I'm saying there is knowledge it's like that yes just to make sense, and uh, choti, 
छोटी लड़की छोटा लड़का मींस स्मॉल और यंग लाइक नॉट नॉट चाइल्ड लाइक एज एन अ चाइल्ड यू नो व्हेन वी हैव चिल्ड्रन हु आर यंग बॉय यंग बॉयज एंड यंग गर्ल्स सो वी से इन उर्दू छोटी लड़की छोटा लड़का एंड आई आई थिंक लड़की एंड लड़का इज इज यू एवरीवन हैज प्रोबेबली हर्ड इट हर्ड हर्ड दीस वर्ड्स ऑलरेडी and um, you you've already come across these words you know, with with pakistanis or or to speaking people uh, i was, was going to say uh, maybe not say ladka because uh, a ladki because the days might be difficult for them say bachcha aur bachchi bachcha aur bachchi because that's easier for them to understand yes. than yes um, yes yes so 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 just the the question was if what's the difference of choti and chota so the, the only difference between choti and chota is the masculinity and fem- feminine femininity like mm-hmm. as in masculine and feminine so they are in urdu they call muzakkar and munnas right but then in english is masculine and feminine right so and and in and it's similar it's across urdu everywhere you see there are words you will need to figure out yourself whether it goes in the in the category of masculine or feminine so unlike english most words in urdu they have a i i can safely say gender yeah yes they have a gender and you will have to decide like because i am speaking urdu since like all my childhood so i know some words i don't think about it a lot like ilm hota hai i know ilm hota hai but then yeah when i was telling you i just got myself i just had a tiny realization that yes ilm hota hai and the galat hoti hai like that yes so i'll wrap up the lesson today yes with this sentence i want to give this to you for uh, for your assignment right so i won't be back until so you have plenty of time to cover this up i'll be back in mid of february uh, so the next lesson will be jali saab he's with me right now he's there uh, murabi saab he's going to be um covering two lessons next uh, next saturday and uh, the following saturday will be murabi bajwa sab um so that would be um 27th is jali sab then third it will be 3rd of february it's going to be murabi nasim ahmed bajwa sab and then inshallah 10th again jali sab i think it's a clear sab no i think it's um like it will be again the, yes yeah. and then 10th is jali sab i think it, this was agreed no it was, it was it was i yes. I, i don't mind taking it um, yes. i thought it was a clear even if it's not it's regular so yeah. i would request everyone to join yes inshallah we learning it's not like a very i know it's it just started all of a sudden so we it's still learning we're going to grow inshallah make it more and like as an interesting and more engaging for you as well if anyone has questions yes i don't have anywhere i can refer everyone to so write them down for the next lesson and and then inshallah we'll we'll take it from there yes yes so <laughs> so what's the homework people. you are giving us what we need to do so so the homework for this lesson is this right take a screenshot of this yes uh so what i need you to do is this word the sentence ilm badi daulat hai yes learn this sentence try to say it go on to the rehta website search these words individually when you search you will find a speaker icon click on it and it'll play for you you can listen to those words how it said yes you will need a smartphone i guess everyone has a smartphone these days if you don't you can use a laptop or a computer yes inshallah and um yeah and then in the next lesson just join in the next lesson if you have any questions you can ask uh, murabi saab and i'm sure there'll be 100 times better and probably 1000 times better than this because i'm only i'm only conducting this lesson what i've learned over the time uh so obviously i have very limited inshallah now we'll see i mean i'm i think i i was i was expecting so many people so i was a bit <laughs> not sure how it's going to go but alhamdulillah it's going fine so 
you have any questions for me yes maybe keep yeah, can you and then we'll do yeah. it later yes, so we could, yes. can you drop drop the website you refer to in the chat please so we have the reference yes yes i will do it now i will do it now yes i am um, website yes Muzaffar sub i'm just going to write it down now before the uh, lesson finish so i'll do it now so this is the first website it's called rechta So that's going to go. So that's the first website. Then I have um, this. Uh, can you see my screen? Can you can you see my screen? Yeah, that's the, the website went too quick, please. Yes, I will just show now. I'll just show now in just a second. So can you see my screen? Yeah. So this is Almani. That's the Arabic website. Uh, you will need to go and click on English before you start searching. Or your language, whatever language you like. I mean, I, I, I'm comfortable with English and Urdu. So I would rather go for English or Urdu. So I think English is, is you, can, you can easily search with. You can either type in English, the word, like say, ilm. And then it'll find the word for you in Arabic. Yes. Uh, oh, it's not doing here. Okay, then then leave it. Okay, not in here. So then in Rechta, it does. I know in Rechta. So this is the first uh, website I've sent you. Rechta, I've already sent it in the, in the chat box. In the group chat. It's already there. Yes, I'm going to do it again. So that's one website. You, you can search here. And then this here. Everyone can see it where I'm hovering. This is a speaker. I can see this is like a speaker icon. You can, when you click on it, it'll play the sound of the of the word. So it plays the sound of the word. It's just telling me right now. I don't know if you everyone can hear, but I can hear it saying L. So what is your homework? The homework is you go copy. Yes, you paste. Hey, find the word. It's looking for the word now. It's right here, ilm. Yes. And I go in the word. And I click and then listen to it. How it said. I repeat it maybe three, four, five times. Doesn't matter, 100 times. Whatever you like. Knowing, understanding, knowledge, doctrine. So this is what you learn. If you need to go to English dictionary, feel, feel free. Search more. Like go in the further up. That's, that'll be your next step to find words in english if you are right. not comfortable oh, yes, okay. that's can, my you, homework. can you just go back to that website go go back to the, to the def definition of the word knowledge yeah i think one good thing on that website i can see that it says the word knowledge is masculine it's a noun and it's masculine so i guess that where does that, it say okay where it says where it says just Tell above, me. Just above no, knowing knowledge on knowing understanding oh yeah, right here noun masculine it's so the, yeah, so oh, that, that's... i think that helps us so if the object oh, right. is, is masculine then we use the word oh, it uh, says masculine so what do we use in that case? Chota. Chota. Uh, so hota, hota. hota. So bala. Yes, it's a bala. So, so for a, this one, a is masculine and e is feminine. Yes, it's a masculine, but then we don't say bala ilm bala dolat. No, we don't say that. Why? Because dolat is is feminine. So we say dolat. Ah, okay. So the so the object is. No, no. Hang on a minute. Would you... Ilm is masculine, but dollar is feminine. Is that what we're saying? Let's see. Let's see. I am pretty sure dollar hoti yeah, yeah. Dollar is feminine. Yes. Yep. There you go. Dollar okay. is feminine. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so if the object is feminine, then we then the the ad the adverb is is that what changes? Not which I'm getting confused. Not the pronoun is the adverb, the pro or the proposition there. Mm. So uh, the word the word hoti or hota hoti means. There, right? There is knowledge. There is wealth. So it's the word mm. there that changes, not the noun. It doesn't change. Or the, the, or the verb. The noun and the verb doesn't yeah. change. It's the, it's, the, it's the preposition or the adverb that changes from masculine to feminine. Is that correct? Right. That sounds right. That sounds right to me. Right. Um, because I'm not really, um, like, I don't have anything to verify this. I mean, What's what you're saying? It makes sense, um, but I think, I think what it's taking is is um, 
like you said, I think I think what you're saying is correct. Yes, it makes sense. I mean, to me, um, uh, unless, uh, we, so, so, we what, what was the question? So, for me, I was saying is because um, this is um, the, the object here is is dollar. Yeah, and that's why it's referring to body. Yeah, instead of the noun is in. Yes, yeah. use that uh, as a as a noun. I'm not sure if this is. Yeah, so 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 dollop is the noun over here, and the adjective is buddy, because mm. it's describing the noun. Describing the noun. So that means the the noun, sorry, the adjective is always going to copy the noun. It's always, right. it, was, it was always it's always going to follow the gender of the noun. So right. over here, right. the adjective is buddy. Can you can you say that here? So that would be better because mm. if you say that here, it be. So salam alaikum everyone. Um, I just wanted to clarify this point. I think Tommy Callum Saab uh, said it correctly as well. So over here, dolat is the noun and bari is the adjective. This adjective is not describing ilm. Yeah. Ilm is not bari over here. The the thing that's bari is dolat. So over here, uh, bari uh, is... Yes, this is in the website. Uh, using the, um, your, your web page. Um, your homepage. We are, we are still seeing the website. We are not seeing what you what you are describing now. Oh, is it? Um, they, they, they can't see this. They they can only see the website. Oh. Mm, can you see it now? Yes. Okay. So uh, sorry. Yes, I was saying um, that buddy is the ad adjective. So buddy is big. That's the adjective, and dollar is the noun. And the adjective is always going to follow the noun. So whatever the gender, whatever gender the noun is, the adjective is going to copy that. So buddy is not following ilm because we're not talking about ilm. We're talking about dolat. We're talking about wealth. And in this sentence, dolat is the noun and buddy is the adjective. Does that make sense? Yeah. Take okay. care. Zakala. And can you explain it with, with regard to the, the other sentence as in um, and there, okay. there is wealth, there is treasure. There is wealth, there is uh, treasure, I think. I think you're trying to, if you just scroll down a little bit. Sorry, uh, Tommy Sub, sorry. I just got to, I just took over from Jali Sub. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll just need yes. to explain the, 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 the adjective following the, the noun. The noun. How how would you because in the sentence there is wealth or there is knowledge there is no adjective, right? This yeah, is adjective. Buddy, the buddy is adjective. Buddy is describing the word. If buddy yes, is it, saying that it's huge. Yes, so in, this sentence, in this sentence, in this sentence, and if you scroll down a little bit to the word to this example you gave, yeah, this one there is wealth or there is knowledge. There is no adjective in this. So why the word yes. there, the word change, the word there is changing because now. Now we're following the rule of uh, the nature of the word. So the, the so the, whether it's masculine or feminine. So now because we know dollar is already feminine word, we cannot use hota. Okay. Uh, so we don't need a, a mess because um you you can you can you, your sentence can exist without an adjective. Yes, um like this one dollar hota hai, dollar hoti hai, right? Ilm hota hai. So then you know ilm is there. Um, but it's not describing if it's big or small or large or it's useful or useless. It's just yeah. saying it's there. Okay. So in, in this right. case, the 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 uh, the dollar or the the gender for takes it takes the gender of the noun itself. In the previous one, it was taking the the, the gender of ilm, or sorry, of of, of dollar. But in this case, it's taking the. So I'm getting confused myself now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry <laughs> that you've come this far. Think... Like it has it has made you confused. I'm sorry. But then no, like, I think I get, the general, make... I get the general oh, idea. Okay. I get the general idea. But in, in first instance, there's two there's there's two two nouns. There's knowledge and there is wealth. And the adjective took the took the took the gender of the second noun, as in wealth, mm. not knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, I think because we're not using adjective, right? Uh it's, it doesn't make a difference because then we have this noun and this noun has its own gender so obviously if you don't know what the gender is you will you will struggle to find out whether say buddy or Choti. <laughs> yeah, indeed um, 
so um Houthi means dead. Yeah. Uh I'm not sure what he means dead. Um so it's just that we need to I need to I need to wrap this up actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got to wrap it up because um um I've got to leave as well. I'm sitting mm. in battle for two. <laughs> um <laughs> So that's that's your homework. So Isasa was asking, what's the homework? This is your homework, right? This is your yeah. assignment, right? Make sure you familiarize yourself with all these words in this sentence in Urdu. Okay. Yes. I know most of you or all of you can speak English fluently. Yes. But the, the reason for this lesson is to learn Urdu. So I'm expecting you to go in the Urdu dictionary, search for these words. If you find an English word which is which you've not heard of it heard of before, go in the English dictionary, familiarize yourself with that English so you can connect those words in in your brain. Yes, in your mind you can you can picture that word. So I think I've uh, said enough for this. So yes, on that note, Jazakallah everyone for joining, and I'll see you inshallah uh, next month. But there will be a lesson next week, so please join. Yes. Everyone, Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.